Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGuardGuard.com and the fifth video in our common VLOOKUP problem series and in this video we're going to look at the problem where the VLOOKUP function cannot look to its left so the job of the VLOOKUP function is to look for something which it looks vertically that's what the V of VLOOKUP stands for and it looks on the leftmost column of a table and returns information from a different column to its right so you can look for an ID down the ID column here if you specify that as the table it will look down the left column find it and count across to its right which they call the column index number so it cannot actually look to its left or have this reverse lookup so in our scenario where we would like to type an ID and return a fruit name VLOOKUP can't do that unless we look at changing the layout of our data uh, which can easily be done although depending on what else you have in that spreadsheet that might have a bad effect on other uh, like fun functionality that you've got going on in that, that spreadsheet so I'm not sure if uh, that should be the way to go but we could easily kind of select uh, a range and using the corner here with the moving arrow drag it around and kind of resize this data so you could get it in the correct order so that it can achieve a job let's say that that might have a negative effect on other things going on in your spreadsheet but I guess the easiest way to cater for that kind of problem would be to change the layout of your data otherwise what was going to fully demonstrate in this video is using a couple of different functions so we're not really correcting a VLOOKUP at all, we're using an alternative or two alternatives together which are the INDEX and MATCH functions. So the INDEX and MATCH functions are both also lookup functions. We have the INDEX function which job is to return a value from a cell that's at the intersection of a row and column. And then we've got the MATCH function that's job is to return a position of an item uh, that matches a specified value. So we saw the match function in a, one of our previous VLOOKUP problem videos in this series. Now we're going to use it again. We're going to get match to find what row this data is in. So ID 41 in the case. Find the row. Find it's in the fourth one of the table. And feed that back to the index function which we're going to use to return the value. So I'll return a value from a cell that's at an intersection of a row and column. Or okay, we'll return the one that's from column B here uh, and match if you can go and find the row for us and tell it that. And then we're done and index can return it. So hopefully this is making some sense. <laughs> uh, hopefully it'll make more when we get going. So let's start typing this in. Cell I3 equals index open in bracket. So the index function will ask you for the array and we're going to supply it we want to return the fruit so I'm going to select the list of fruit which I can do by selecting like that or thinking about what we spoke about in previous videos you may have a table column or a range name assigned that we can use. I'm going to put in a comma and ask you right, what is the row number? Now that's the problem I don't know what row this fruit item's in. Well, I do right now, it's the fourth one, but I need it to react to wherever somebody types in there. So I'm going to put match. We're going to get match to find the row number for us. So match asks you, what should I look for? So look for cell H3, the contents of H3, please. ID 41. Comma, look up array. Where should I look? You can look in this range here. C3 to C11. It's important that the size of these ranges are exactly the same. So if you've selected the whole column in that example, select the whole column here using a table reference, use a table reference here, and so on. Comma match type is zero and an exact match. That's similar to the last question of V look up there. Close in bracket, back to index, because right you can might want to give me a column number but it is optional we don't need to because the array we specified is only one column wide if I specify the whole table here 
I'd have to mention what column I need to be more precise there. So no need. I can just put a close in brackets, close index, and run that. And now we've got a function, uh, sort of like a reverse lookup, a lookup function that can return information to its left. I can type in an item here, and it can tell me what the name of that fruit is. So an alternative to VLOOKUP, one of the alternatives, is using the combination of index and match together. It's far more versatile than VLOOKUP. Uh, maybe a little bit extra work and more confusing, but it can get a job done, especially catering for this problem where VLOOKUP cannot look to its left. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other videos we've got and some of our other tips at our website, computergargar.com. Otherwise, we've got one more problem to see in this series. Video number six is on its way where we will look at having, having duplicates within your lookup table.